Okay, guys, so let's go with the uh, the digital logics. We have a ch second chapter exercises. So we have to convert these uh, binary numbers to decimals. One zero one one zero blah blah blah. Okay, let's consider the given binary number. If we convert it to the decimal number, so no, we have one two three four zero. We get zero to four, so we use uh, two to the power four times one plus 2 to the power 3 plus 0 plus 2 to the power 2 plus 1 plus 2 to the power 1 times 1 plus 2 to the power 0 times 0 is to give us 0 so let's begin with uh, 16 here uh, do not count this one we have 4 and 2 will give us 22 uh, okay and uh, let's consider this as the same Oh, the same, the same, I guess. Oh, oh, this is uh, the same, the same. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, we have to divert the from the decimal to binary. It's so easy. Forty-seven, for example, you can use thirty-two and uh, four, other and then and the one. But we can use like. Uh, and the binary it has to use the double table method the or the long division as you may call it depending where you live and which uh, continent are you from uh, okay this is the remainder one zero here because three and uh, we have to do a one zero one yes so let's do it once again, the same method, the same method. Ah, yeah, now we have the hexadecimal to decimal. This is really cool. And uh, we're going to look at this longer this because it is way more better. We use, of course, with the... Uh, we have learned this, okay? Binary is 2. Decimal is 10. Hexadecimal is 16. And the octal is 8. In the extension we have a 16 to the power 2 times 7 plus 16 to, 16 to the power 1 times 4 plus uh, 1 times 3. Therefore, this value is uh, 18, 1,159. Okay, 36. Let's consider the given as a number. Okay, okay. Okay, the same as this one. Oh, 7 F I means 7 and 15 and 15. So we use uh, 16 to the power 2 times 7 plus 16 to the power 1 times 15 plus 16 to the power 0 which is 1 times 15. This is really cool. We use the sign. Therefore, the decimal value of the given decimal number is 2047. So let's check this one too. Next to this new number, uh, uh, I have to close the curtain, I guess. So, as you can see from the extension number, then this one number, we use the 16 to the power 2 times the first value of it. Yeah, this is better. Sorry, guys. And the plus 16 to the power uh, 2 times 16 to the power 3 times 1 plus 16 to the power 2 times 2 plus 16 to the power 1 times 0 and uh, plus 16 to the power 0 times 4 and give us over 4096 because 16 to the power 3 and give us 4096 of course and uh, 16 to the power 2 which is over 256 times 2 and give us 512 and uh, as we know uh, 16 to the power 1 times 0 give us this 0 and the 16 to the power 0 times 4 give us 4 because uh, 1 times 4 is 4 because 16 to the power 0 is 1 <laughs> sorry and the, the full final value is 4612 okay this is the decimal to hex okay uh, oh yeah yeah you can use it the binary value then later on you can convert it to hexadecimal yes you can use 307 there the double the long division method that's it 16 
in 900 let's do it is if it's done uh, deconstructed 57 minus 7 3 minus 9 directly there and this 909 919 and the uh, yes the same method Uh, yes, mm -hmm. okay, 92, 16 and the power 1 time, times 9 plus 16 and the power 0 times 2 and uh, 144 plus 2 is 146 uh, 1, 16 and the power 2 uh, times 1 and the 16 and the power 1 times 10 uh, plus 16 and the power 0 times 6 give us over 256 uh, plus 160 plus 6 422 okay 37 15 a b c 13 d, d is 13 and uh oh my god sorry about that this is really wet oh my god. and let's go furthermore with it this is these are easier for you guys this is uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 16 to the power 3 times 10, 16 to the power 2 times 11, 16 to the power 1 times thir uh, 12, and the 16 to the power 0 times 13. Over 43,981. And uh, consider the given, this is 0, 0, 0, no problem, this is 0, and just add, which is 15. Don't forget, be smart and don't do calculation. Just check the values 0, 0, 0, 0, and add this is 15 and go with 15. Uh, the is the similar 15, okay, we use uh, 16 of powers 1 times 5, the 16 of powers 0 times 5, and uh, this is 80 plus 5, 85. Okay, the decimal value, we can use the long division. Let's consider the get decimal value there. Let's check this one. Yeah, 498. And after uh, to convert to the binary value. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I tried to be really quick because I have to go. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. We have to count the BCD. So let's divide it. Eight. It's like this. Nine is like this. Six is like this. Two is like this. And seven is like this. Let's put it together. Like this. Uh, it is so easy, BCD. Yeah? It's binary called this small number. Uh, it is like a. Get an 8, put it there, and the, and the 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, uh, 4, give the binary digits, give us 1, 0, 0, 0, because give us 1, one 2, 4, 8. And later on, like this, but we have to do it step by step, okay? Each number, uh, each digit, se uh, separately. Okay, yes, yes, and we know this one. I'm pretty sure you know it too. This is 2024. 1, this is 0, just 2 and 4. Let's do a PCD and uh, we get 1024. And uh, we, of course, we have to do it like this divided by, by 4 now. This is 4, okay, this gives us 9. This is 7, this is 5, this is 2. So this is the value of 9752. Okay, let's check it. Yes, one eight four. This is the four uh, octet. As you may know it from only for the four. No, no octet is my name. Like four or just these quads here. And let's check the binary small number. Okay, this is easy for you guys. I'm pretty sure this is one two three four. Let's check. This is just two. This is one eight. This is nine. It was. This is only four. Here, it was four nine two four nine two. And the same thing like that. Five, the four fours, four five, in the second uh, quad, and the five in the third quad. Convert the following decimal number to the decode and attach to an odd parity bit. Yes, this we know this one. And then one six five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the positive number. Now the odd parity bit is zero. This is the number of one. Is an odd number there. So let's check it. But you see here zero at the beginning, and later on is the parity bit, and uh, we have one hundred sixty five. Let's consider the decimal number. 
Okay, we have to perform each of the following version. For some of them, you may want to try several methods to see which one one works best for you. For example, uh, yes, 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 yes. Ah, oh, so yeah. So let's do it like this is a basic thing. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Uh huh. So let's use this one. Let's do like um, zero, one, two. Okay, this to give us nice two right now, right? Let's do it. Okay, let's construct it. So we we'll get over like seventy-four new decimals. So let's deconstruct it in the binary bits. So to get 74, we get 64, okay. Plus 8 and give us 7, 72. And the plus 2 give us 74. So let's deconstruct it once again now. Uh, by, by this uh, binaries. 2 to the power 6 times 1, plus 2 to the power 5 times 0, blah blah blah. And we get at least this value, the BCD. It'd be convenient to request the number conversion represent the value 37. Okay, yeah, it is done. In the end, so no, no problem. Yes, 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 yes. So it is, yeah, a 3 megapixel digital camera stores an 8 bit number for the brightness of which of the primary colors red, green, and blue. It is found in each picture element. If every bit is stored in data compression, how many pictures? Okay, 2 to the power 20 is over 1,040,000 1, and some. An 8 bit number is used for each primary color. There are three, only three, three uh, RBG, red, and green, uh, red, blue, and green. And so we need 8 times 3 is 24. Bits are used to represent each picture of element. So let's use it now. Uh, 2 to the, uh, are 24 times 3 times 2 to the power 20. So for the 3 megapixel, so this is like uh, like uh, general compressions of it, 1 byte is 8 bits, 1 mega is 2 to the power 20, over 1 million for the thousand. Uh, hence, uh, 128 megabyte means 128 times 2 to the power 20 times 8 bits. So, the number of pictures can be stored in 128 megabyte memory card is uh, 128 times 2 to the power 20 times 8 bits. Okay. Mm. Therefore, the number of pictures can be stored in 128 megabyte memory card is 14 pictures. So, I don't know if this is correct. Number of pictures that can be stored on 128 megabyte may ah MBS only 14 pictures, of course. So, this is the end, guys. So, thank you for sticking by from me. I'm so sorry for going so fast, but if you have any question, write down below the call. I'll try to be really quick. Have a great time, guys, and be safe.